Throughout millennia, stories have been used for two reasons, to entertain and to educate. So here's a little story about the history of coaching that might be useful. Let's imagine that you're a little lost. You're not sure where to go. Maybe you're in an unfamiliar city. Call it London or Paris or New York City or whatever that big city is and it's nearby. So you need some help. Well, what do you do? You turn to somebody who appears to be wise. Maybe it's a security guard. Maybe it's a big person or a person with long flowing gray hair and she looks like someone you could trust. And you go and you pause. For whatever reason, you choose not to ask for help, although you could. You're, you're near that resource. Well, eventually, let's imagine, this person turns to you and says, well, what are you doing? And you don't really know how to answer, so you pause. And then they threaten a bit, and they say, well, you can't stand here. It's a public place. If you do, I'll have to fine you $100. $100, you think? Well, really? For standing here? in the city and you pause and you're really not sure how to respond but then finally let's imagine this wise person asks some good questions they ask what are you doing here and where are you going two good questions right and you pause and you smile I'm gonna imagine and you turn back to this person and say oh thank you for asking those Great questions. How about if I come back next week and I'll pay you a hundred bucks? Why? Because I need the accountability and I'd love it if you asked where are you going and how are you going to get there? And so it began the history of professional coaching. All you need is a buyer and a seller and an outcome.